And uh, more cool stuff to speak of is the weather. It has certainly taken a turn over the course of the weekend. We are now watching the winter weather, especially across the northeastern part of the state. We'll get into details on that in just a moment. But let's go ahead and take a look at Red River, where we have been seeing snow on and off throughout the afternoon. We put this into motion, and you can see a few snow showers, especially earlier this afternoon, going through Red River, and we get a little bit of a break. And we will continue to see the snow going on and off. We have seen quite a few inches of snowfall already in the northern mountains, and they are just one of the locations that will be picking up on the snowfall through the evening and into the overnight. 37 degrees right now with a brisk northwest wind at 24 miles per hour. You can see our big eye cam shaking a bit in the wind, and cooler temperatures have started to pour in across New Mexico. We're in the 20s and 30s across the northern tier of the state. We're still holding on to the 60s down in Carlsbad. 59 right now in Hobbs, but eventually that front will push across that southeast corner and even these locations will be cooling down as well. And we could be seeing some snow as far south as Roswell throughout the evening hours. Winter storm warnings in effect for the eastern part of the state. We do have blizzard warnings in effect for east central sections. I-40 included in that between Santa Rosa and Tucumcari where we will be looking at snow and blowing snow in addition to that wind. So visibilities will be reduced quite a bit and we'll even see some reduced visibilities in some of these areas outside of the blizzard warning through the evening hours and winter weather advisories are now in place across a good portion of the northern mountains into the metro as well where we could see possibly an inch through the overnight hours, especially as you move over toward the foothills and we continue those winter weather advisories into the Sacramento's and the northern portions of the Gila as well. Here's a look at the satellite and radar where we are looking at that snow shower activity continuing across the northeast corner of the state and we'll continue to see this activity, especially across the east through the overnight hours and into early tomorrow before the storm eventually clears out. Now starting to cross the state and it will pick up a little bit of speed and it will be moving pretty quickly over the next 12 hours or so as we see the storm eventually clear the state. We will hold onto a couple of spots, snow showers across the eastern part of the state through the morning hours tomorrow. The rest of the state will see clearing conditions and will go mostly sunny across a good portion of the state by sunset tomorrow. Then another storm will skim the northeast corner of the state as we move into Tuesday. That could bring a couple of light snow showers, but we're not talking big time snow amounts with this one. And then we clear out even more for the rest of the work week. Here's a look at Super Storm Track where we continue with that snowfall in the eastern part of the state through the overnight hours. Even the metro could pick up up a little bit of snowfall into the late evening and into the overnight as well. And we'll hold on to some of this snow activity through the early daytime hours tomorrow. But eventually things do clear out rather quickly throughout the daytime. And by noon, we will be going mostly sunny across a good portion of the state. And we'll have another shot of picking up some of that snowfall across the north into Tuesday. Southern Colorado, mostly sunny for tomorrow. Highs into the 30s. Another shot of picking up a couple of snow showers on Tuesday. And then quieter by the end of the week. Over the northwest, mostly sunny. Highs into the 30s. We'll be looking at a few passing clouds on Tuesday and then more sunshine and warmer temperatures for the end of the week. Over the southwest, lots of sunshine here. Highs into the 40s and 50s. We'll be looking at a few clouds Wednesday and Thursday, but not much to speak of throughout the work week. We'll be up to the 60s again by next Sunday. Over the southeast, we'll see a few showers to begin out the day tomorrow and then we'll clear out throughout the day. Warmer temperatures for the middle part of the work week and we'll continue with the nice weather through the end of the week as well. Over the northeast, we'll have a couple of snow showers to begin the day and then we'll clear out throughout the afternoon. A few clouds on Tuesday and then much nicer weather for the end of the week. Over the northern mountains, clearing skies, highs will be into the 30s. We'll have a chance of maybe picking up a little bit of precip on Tuesday. East mountains, clearing skies with highs into the 30s. We'll be looking at mostly sunny skies in the metro with highs in the 40s. and. We'll have a few passing clouds on Tuesday possibly, but all in all, a fairly quiet week after a very active end to the weekend with warmer temperatures by next weekend. Again, be very careful if you have to drive yeah. in the areas where the storm is hitting tonight. Yeah, you're going to see quite a bit of snow and quite a bit of reduced visibility out there. All right, thanks so much, John.